Hello everyone. In this lecture we will be going over 1990 AME problem number 7. Here's a view of this problem. We are given a triangle with vertices P, Q and R. The equation of the angle bisector of angle P can be written in the following form. We would like to show, we would like to find A plus P. So I'll go ahead and draw a sketch here. So um, uh, so somewhere up here, and maybe something like this. Okay, so that would be the origin here. Um, point P has coordinates. Um, let's focus on the x coordinate. Here is minus eight, minus fifteen, and one. So as a result, so probably. Hmm, that would be R. Um, so I guess P would be up here. That would be P. And maybe Q would be somewhere, I guess, here. Or maybe not that far. Yeah, something like that. So that would be Q. So we are given this triangle like that. So what I want to do is. Uh, and obviously, okay, so before I go further, uh, let's also draw the angle bisector like that. And the angle bisector would hit the um, line segment QR at, let's call it P prime. So that's an angle bisector with e two equal angles up here. So what I will do first is I will measure uh, using the distance formula, the distance PQ, PR and QR. So as a result, PQ turns out to be 25, uh, PR is, uh, I believe it should be 15, and um, QR is 20. So the, the, it's very easy to test it. Obviously, uh, we realize the existence of a 3, 4, 5 triangle where angle PRQ is 90 degrees. Um, so what we can do to find out the equation of the line which goes through P and P prime, um, I can go ahead and apply um, the angle bisector theorem, huh? angle bisector theorem, um, in the sense that huh? so PQ to Q P prime is equal to PR to R P prime. From that. Um, so that that would imply that obviously PQ is 25 to Q P prime is equal to PR. We just found out to be 15 over R P prime. So therefore, uh, in short, we have Q P prime over R P prime is equal to 5 over 3. So I know the total length of QR is um, 20. So therefore... Uh, that would be so q p prime huh? so this would imply q p prime should have a length of 5 over 8 huh? so 5 over 8 times 20 which is um so they would cancel out i will have a 5 here a 2 here so therefore 25 over 2 and similarly and uh r p prime is therefore just the remaining which is 15 over 2 so now that I know these line segments so what I can do I can find the coordinates of P prime so remember how to find the coordinates of P prime if P prime is the midpoint of Q and R we give equal weight in this case because I know this distance is like 5x and this distance is like 3x what I can do I can give a weight of 3 here and then I can give a weight of 5 here. So you can think of Archimedes' uh, principle. So as a result, the location, therefore, P prime would be equal to the following um, expression with the appropriate weights. So a weight of 3 would be given to the component of Qx. And so that would be... Uh, and then a, a 5 will be given to the R. So therefore... 3x uh, q plus 5xr over 8 
and then the y coordinate will be 3yq again plus 5yr over 8 so make sure you understand this so therefore you just plug in the appropriate values so this is a q by the way so um we have that uh, 3 times x uh, component of q is minus 15 uh, plus 5 times the x component of r is 1 all over 8 and then we have a similar expression for the y's 3 times the y component is negative 19 plus 5 times the y component of r is negative 7 uh, as a result, P prime is simply equal to um, minus 5 and uh, minus 23 over 2. Now that I know the coordinates of both P and P prime, I can easily find the equation of this line. And it turns out that the line will have the equation of... Um, 11x plus uh, 2y plus uh, 78 is equal to 0. Make sure to do the exercise and given these coordinates of p and p prime, find that uh, relationship which show the relationship of the equation that of, of the line which goes through p and p prime. So therefore the question which was asking for a plus c, the answer would be 11 plus 78, which is simply um, 89. So therefore, the answer would be 089 to this problem, and we are done.